हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी एलिमेंट्स ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट थ्री स्टेजेस ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट्स आर द फर्स्ट वन इज प्लानिंग नाउ इट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टेक्निक ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट प्लानिंग मींस डिफाइनिंग द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट एंड टू आइडेंटिफाई द डिफरेंट टास्क मटेरियल इक्विपमेंट एक्सेट्रा that are required for completing the project it means that all the equipments material that will be used in the project should be planned in this process only that is the planning process now the next will be the scheduling scheduling is the deciding the phasing rate of activity with the starting and completion date and the sequential relationship among the various activities in a project such that work can be carried out in an orderly and effective manner it means that we have to plan all the activities and we have to perform all the activities within a sequential order so that project will be completed within a fixed time interval and with orderly manner in simple words we can say that scheduling decides the order of all the activities and allocation of resources like time space equipment material and manpower to the activities now the next process is the controlling the control of large projects like the control of any management system involves close monitoring of resources cost quality and budgets control also means using a feedback loop to revise the project plan and having the ability to shift resources to where they are needed most controlling is complementary to planning thus the process of controlling involves comparing the progress of work with the scheduled one at regular intervals and then taking corrective measures to get the desired results if it is running behind the schedule it means that in the controlling process we will take care of the progress of the work in the project suppose that if any activity is behind the schedule then we have to deploy extra resources for the completion of that activity within a particular time interval and if any activity is ahead of its schedule then we have to take the resources from that schedule and deploy that resources in that activity which are running behind the schedule in simple words we can say that controlling involves the execution of planning and scheduling and it also deals with the rescheduling of the project now one note is written here that planning and scheduling are done before the start of a project whereas controlling is performed after the start of the project it means that before starting of the project we will plan all the activities and we will perform the scheduling of the activities as per the proper manner so that the project will be completed within a particular time interval but after the starting of the project if any activity is behind the schedule then we have to control that activity and we have to finish that activity fastly so that project will be completed within minimum time period that is all about the elements of a project management thank you students